Hey gang, Scott here. Well, Skylar released an update to Luminar this week, 4.3, and this video will tell you all about the new features that are in it. Let's just dive right in. The first one, if you're in the grid view, in the library module, you now have a search button and you can search for various things. Like I can search for files with Spain, I can find folders, uh, I can look for file types, uh, I can look for you know anything that I might have in a file name or a camera type and then I can quickly jump to them. So the new search is pretty nice. It's, uh, it's quick and easy and I'm hopeful as more searchable things get added to it, it'll be another nice way to carve things up in your library. When you do a search, you will see that you'll add a recently searched uh, shortcut in the library module. So that's a pretty nice uh, nice addition there. Let's go back to our full view here. And actually, let's zoom into one photo and the second new feature. This one, I think this one's my favorite. It's hovering over looks so you can see what they do to your photo. So you're looking at a photo, hit the looks button. And then I can just hover over things and without having to click on it, without having to play with it, I'm just hovering over to see what the preview does to my photo. And that one looks kind of nice too. You can tell this was an old film scan. I got some, some film squiggles going on there. But this hovering action on the looks is a really, really nice feature. Speeds up workflow, a wonderful addition to 4.3. Third item that has changed is the crop tool. So we can access the crop tool again right from uh, our, our uh, toolbar here at the top. And crop is now moved into the canvas tool set. And we have crop and rotate. We've got normal stuff. We can flip the object or our picture. We can flip it vertically and horizontally. We have the variety of uh, you know, different ratios, all that stuff. And then, of course, we can crop however we like. That part of it hasn't changed, but it's just kind of moved into this canvas area, which honestly kind of makes a little more sense. This is something we're doing on the canvas overall. So tuck the tool in there, make the uh, tool options accessible in the same way that all the other ones are over here in the, the right-hand side. So that's where you'll find crop and rotate in 4.3. Improvement number four, custom skies and custom sky overlays. So this is the stuff for the AI sky replacement and augmented sky filters. You could always add in, you load a custom image. It was a little cumbersome to go find your folder and so forth. Well, they've added a bit of a hook so that you can get your custom skies accessed more easily. Um, I'll use this photo here. There's enough of a sky out there that we can replace it. So I go over into the creative area and let me use Sky Replacement. I click on Sky Selection. You're gonna see a lot more than you normally do, right? I've got all of these specialty things in here. I've got a set called Fiery Skies, another set called Subtle Skies, and I'll have a different video that will detail how to get these things set up so you can drop things in here. But the, uh, the key thing is Show Custom Skies. You hit that and it pops up this window that has the place where these custom skies are stored. So you can copy in any of the skies that you want to have ready access to for sky replacements, and then they are there. And I can pick any one of them now right from the menu. And let me just pick number six here, see what that does to the photo. Hmm, not quite the best blend. I got to do some work on the masking there, but that's the way you can get custom skies snapped in to Luminar. And the, the fifth thing that's changed really is the performance. It's gotten snappier. Now, the hovering on the looks is good. I've noticed that just moving between photos is faster. Uh, there's, there's one last thing I do want to point out, and this is, uh, it kind of depends on where you fall on the privacy spectrum of things. There is in the preferences, this analytics area where you can choose whether or not your data about how you use the software or so forth is shared with Skylum. I didn't remember that being in 4.2. It's a new checkbox, and it, depending on where you are on the privacy spectrum, you may want to turn that off if that's your choice, but I did want to point that one out. That's going to do it. That's the uh, rundown of the key things as I see them in Luminar 4.3. Got questions? Drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.
Skylum leashed, leashed? They leashed it. They unleashed it and released it. But you combine those things, you get leashed.